Welcome to Arts Beyond Museums. I'm Khan and I'm your curator for this series. Today, Art Beyond Museums brings us back to the Kyungsak area. Now, if you've been following my episodes, I think you will definitely be very familiar with this area. Last time, I brought Masterin's Art to come here to connect with the Guild and their wonderful, wonderful craft beer. It's really tasty. I heard that many friends have already gone there to try it out. Please go and support them. And today, I bring Masterin's Art back to the Kyungsak area to connect with an artist, in fact, with a world-renowned artist and one that has won the Nobel Prize for Literature. Now, so today I won't be talking much about East and West, how the old and new come together. I'll be speaking about the artists themselves, Master Yun and the person we're going to connect with today. And after all, after so many episodes of Art Beyond Museums, I think most of you are becoming experts in Master Yun's art. You know the gold and silver, you know how Master Yun revitalizes the Chinese art and so on. But as we delve deeper into Master Yun's art, you will realize that we are actually more and more talking about the artist himself. So we look at all the elements. Yes, we are talking about Master Yun, this person, the artist. Just like what Ernst Gombrich has said in the story of art, there isn't really such thing as art. There are only artists. So when we look at Master Yun's art, for instance, this feng shui calligraphy, uh, we have here we call Long Teng He Wu, okay? The dragon source and the crane prospers or dancers. We know about the gold and silver, we know about the pine suit ink, we know that this, okay, these red markings, red circles are of root and of vermilion to symbolize the pine tree and so on. But what does it reflect upon Master Yun as a painter, as a character? He wants to paint something that will bring greatness and glory to our entire Chinese culture again. He wants to paint something that is significant, something that will last through ages. That is the legacy. And when you know Master Yun is a person like this and you would understand his painting, his calligraphy and why he does it in this particular way. Why does he glow in the night? He wants you to have an all-rounded experience and this is about Master Yun's character. Fifty-five Kyung Siak Road, zero one zero four. Now this is the Old Man Singapore, one of the top fifty bars in Asia. Now the Old Man is a masterpiece by Ernest Hemingway, the artist that we're going to connect with today. But before we go any further, if you are wondering who is Master Yun, I suppose you've been catching up with our episodes. You should know by now. You should know that Master Yun is a great artist and the only artist who have exhibited on the Great Wall of China and definitely in Spain, in Netherlands as well. And in 2019, China CCTV came, they did a great documentary about Master Yun and his contributions to the Feng Shui Arts that we all know. Of course, today when we are talking about the artist, we are going deeper into both Ernest Hemingway and Master Yun himself. When you finally manage to find the door to the old man Singapore, let me give you a tip. Look up and look out for the pineapple and that's where you can find the entrance. And when you enter the old man Singapore, you find yourself going into another world, a much more intimate space which is a tribute to Ernest Hemingway. I think many things are just as such. On the surface, it seems a bit distant but when you go to know the person much better, a lot of things seem to be opening up a new world for Master Yun's art for Ernest Hemingway as well. Now, we know about Master Yun's art most of the time when people look at the prizes, let's say. This is, I have with me, Strokes of Love, PPK3088. This piece is 72,868, and most people will be like, oh, wow, so that sets a bit of distance. But when you get to know Master Yun, this artist, much better, his character, what he stands for, and why does he paint as such, why does he insist on using some of the best materials, even the seals, we have not talked much about them. 
but all of them are carved by Xilin Yingse, only the best seal carvers in the whole world. Then you will know and understand why such a painting will be at such a value and why must we insist on painting things that are positive and things they are looking forward. For instance, Mastuin wrote here, and the energy of love can bring us many wonderful things, including prosperity. So when we look at this, while the name says strokes of love, it does not mean romance itself. It can mean prosperity, it can mean relationship, it can mean good business, and so on. Now I'm sure in night effect, you can see that this will be the parts that would glow in the dark, that give you the variants of pink and the variants of green that represents life and rebirth. And here in the old man, in order to get closer to Ernest Hemingway, I understand that there's a ritual of cocktails that will allow us to open the door to this universe. Let's go check it out. I have with me here Mr. Andrew Yap, the founder and managing partner of The Old Man Singapore. Thank you, thank you for having thank you, me Andrew. here. Thank, thank you, Andrew, thank you. Thanks for coming. This place, I think it's not easy to find. That's but once you enter that door, it's such a cozy and intimate space. And I understand that it's actually a tribute to Ernest Hemingway. Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, basically this bar is literally Tribute to the literature giant, yes. Hemingway, yes. for his love of his cocktails. Ah, I was going to ask that. Like, there are so many writers, so many authors and artists. Yeah. Why Ernest Hemingway? Because he wrote a lot about cocktails. <laughs> yes, definitely. And that's what the old man in Singapore is famous for, the cocktails. Yes. I understand that, and I was looking at the menu, I was explaining to them that if you want to earn, understand about Ernest Hemingway, you can do a few things. Number one, you can read his books, that will take a long time. <laughs> but also, actually, you can drink the cocktails over here in the old man Singapore. Yes. Because the cocktails here are milestone of his life, can I say that? Yes, for this current menu, definitely it is. And what do we have with, him, with right. us here? Down here we have the 1899. This is the 1899? Yes. Okay, 1899. The year that Hemingway was born. Yes, <laughs> the year that Hemingway was born. So these are really the significant milestones. Yep. We took three today. I think there are a few more. You come and see the menu yourself. This is the year that Hemingway was born. Yes. Okay. So so that's why you can see that the color is a bit more milkish. Okay. That's the first drink that we drink. The base is actually rum that mm -hmm. is actually with uh, silken tofu. Then we have uh, soy tofu inside. Tofu inside. Oh yeah. I think then, the tofu can make into cocktail. <laughs> yes, you can. <laughs> okay. okay. So we we uh, basically then we add uh, soy kefir. Then, on top of that, we have the foam. It's actually without any egg whites, so we actually use a little foamy to actually. It's a vegetable glycerin. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Can I try? Yes, you may, please. Okay. So this is the one that's to celebrate Hemingway's birth, 1899. Yes. The name of this cocktail is 1899. Correct. Wow. New life. Yes. New life. Celebrate. When we move on to 1917 which is this one. 1917. Yeah. And it's also a milestone in his Milestone. Life. That's the time that he actually signed up to be a medic driver in the First World War. So what's so special about this part of his life? So during the World War, as you know, the smell, the mud, the trenches that all the soldiers were in. Yes. And you know that this actually has that little uh, mud flavour okay. on the nose and everything very right. heavy on the palate and very heavy on the nose. This drink has that little hint of it, but it is actually made with uh, mushrooms. Mushrooms? And the drinks that the soldiers were drinking back then were mostly whiskies and beers. So this has a whiskey base to it? Yes, it has a monkey shoulder blended. So. Oh, okay. So it's a whiskey base to it and yeah. there's a mix of mushrooms. Mushroom. So we actually well. used a dehydrated mushroom, rehydrate it again to get a uh, smooth flavour because uh, you know, otherwise if you use actual uh, mm. fresh mushrooms, you don't get the consistency. So when I was lifting the glass, I saw I was a bit shocked by this thing that we have here. 
This is coal and coal. it's deliberately so. It's not an aircon, right? No. So this actually is a whole entire coal plate that runs through the whole entire bar. It actually reduces the dilution of your drinks. So the ice will be actually be controlled so it doesn't melt so fast. So at the same time, constantly keeping your drinks cold. And originally, it is meant to be about minus 35, <laughs> but due to our surrounding, the temperature, the humidity, it sometimes tends to be about minus 20. Okay. Yeah, that's why you can see ice forming on the I've there. never seen this anywhere else in Singapore. Uh, there's only two, us and the one in Hong Kong. And what is this year? This is 1954. 1954. When 1954 was the one where he won the Nobel Literature Award, yes. Nobel Prize for Literature. Correct. This is the year. Yes. He was in Africa. Yes. And the best part is about this drink is that it's what we perceive that he might actually drink if he was still alive. It's a drink that is actually very Nordic inspired. So oh. you, yeah. So with our weather in Singapore, where it's always hot, humid, heavy. So we actually wanted something very refreshing, very easy, nice on the nose, nice on the palate. So Ooh. it's actually made with uh, slow gin, monkey, for, monkey slow gin. Then you have juniper, you have rosemary, and on top of that we actually yes, have the to, rosemary. Yeah. You feel it. And sorry you. And, and we carbonated it. And yeah. on top of that we have a little bubbles on it. So you can see there's a little foam on top because of the carbonation. And this is actually one of our top selling drinks as well because uh, people have been chugging this down. Because it's easy. It's on easy. It. easy. Yeah. And it's really tasty. It's really refreshing. Because on the year when Ernest Hemingway got that Nobel Prize award, yeah. When he heard the news in Africa and then he said that, yeah, I yeah. totally deserve it. Yeah. <laughs> and Great the best guy. part is that he didn't even go. He didn't even go, he but he collected even. the money. Yes. Very good. Very careful. Very, Very smart. good. <laughs> How long has the old man Singapore been around for? Uh, we've been around since February 2019. 2019. 2019. That's the time that we actually uh, did our soft launch. Then May, May 2019 was the day that we actually open up to everybody and tell us that we are here. In the sense that actually it's not been very long. Not been very long. But already top 50 bars in Asia. Thank you because uh, people thought that we deserve it. <laughs> 1954. <laughs> How did you do it? How did you and your team make this work? Well, I believe it's truly understanding that the, the when you are opening up a bar, yes. the most important thing is about service to the guests. Right. It's not about making drinks or whatever because yes you can make thousand and one drinks that are amazingly great right. but if you don't have the hospitality you don't have the service to the guests right. which is the most crucial importance when you're opening up a business yes that's what we did we diverse what we actually think that guests comes first than drinks i see yeah thank you very much andrew my pleasure thank you Other than the most wonderful cocktails that are a tribute to Ernest Hemingway's milestones in his life, you know what? The Old Man Singapore also has Lohan Perrier on their menu. Lohan Perrier, for 200 over years, they have never worked with any other artist. The only artist they have worked with is none other than Master Yun Longzi. It is through the various cocktails that we actually enter into Ernest Hemingway's life and also more understanding about Master Yun, then we can understand more about his art. And actually, Master Yun is also the one who brings something else to life again and that is none other than our Chinese culture. Here I have with me something that we have never seen before. This is called Ri Yue Tong Guang. It's a feng shui calligraphy of course, but it's painted and written on silk. Now, this phrase, Ri Yue Tong Guang, and the seals they come along with it, they come from Huai Lanzi and things like Yi Jing. So those are books and literature, but how do we bring it back to life again through Master Yun's painting, through Master Yun's words? This piece, with the colour splashing on silk, which is not easy, it's at 83,868. Of course, in this whole series, there are smaller pieces, some are bigger, but every single piece, because of how unique it is, the colour splashing and the words how it's written, it is never the same. Just like when Master Yun paints, just like Master Yun, this person, 
he always wants to go for something that is the best, that is represented on his art. Now, since you are at the old man, of course, through the old man, we can feel and enter into Ernest Hemingway's world. But what I really see is that it is through Andrew and his team and their dedication that we can feel the power and the service quality of the old man. And that's how the old man in Singapore comes to life. Cheers. The Arts Beyond Museums series and Master Yun Longzi's Feng Shui Art are proud to be sponsored by Le Hong Perrier. For 200 over years, Le Hong Perrier has not worked with any other artist before. When you purchase a piece of Feng Shui Art exhibited in this Art Beyond Museums series, you will also be getting a complimentary set of five different specially selected cuvées of Le Hong Perrier Champagne. The La Cuvée, the Cuvée Rosé, Brut Millesimi, Demi Sec Harmony, and the Cuvée Grand Siac. So that you can enjoy the taste of elegance while basking in the prosperity of Master Yun's Feng Shui paintings and calligraphies. Cheers to prosperity and elegance.